This is a short introduction to the Kern County Google Maps GIS website. The website address can be found here at the top of the screen. First, let's turn on the aerial photos layer by clicking on the satellite button in the upper right hand corner. Now, we'll start with the Google Maps search box. This search box is very handy because it allows different kinds of searches all within the same box. For example, let's type in an address, like such as 2424 Pine Street, and it takes you right to it. Or it could be an intersection, like Chester and Truxton. Or even latitude and longitude coordinates. Let's see, 35.4, like you get off of a GPS unit. Or not even a location, maybe a place name, like the Kern County Administrative Building. One thing it doesn't do is Kern County Assessor Parcel Searches, but we added that feature down here, and you can center on an assessor parcel number as well. Uh, another thing that Google Maps does is gives you angled views of the property. So for example if you want to see you know what's underneath this eave here well we can rotate the map around and see oh yeah there's some windows you know it's not a patio it's part of the house. You can continue to rotate all the way around see different angles of the house. So you really have four different angles plus the overhead angle. Uh, another feature is the street view. Uh, you can drag the little yellow guy down to wherever you want to be on the street and you can instantly uh, see what's going on with the houses at a street view level. To close the street view box click on this little X right here. You can also turn off the angle to get the straight overhead view by just clicking on this little 45 right here. This website can also measure distance and area. To measure distance, click on this little jagged line, and let's say we want to measure the distance between these houses. So click on the start point, double click on the end point, distance is 22 feet. Delete. Let's say we want to measure area. Click on this polygon, click on each point of the building that you're going to measure, double click, area is 695 feet. Or you may just want to draw shapes uh, of different colors, like a, maybe it's a big orange circle, or delete it, whatever way you want to do it. One other feature is adding markers. Uh, let's type in a, this is a is a marker with a label and you can put it on the map anywhere you want you can have as many markers as you want as well uh, one thing with the markers is you should have the parcel layer off because if you try to click on the parcel layer while it's active it's trying to give you assessor parcel information um, which is handy. The assessor parcel information links straight to the assessor's website and shows you the year built and square footage and, and assessed values. Uh, we've added quite a few other layers as well to the map. Let's go ahead and turn off the satellite, put it back on the map, and zoom out a little bit. You can also hit refresh if you just want to clean the map up, have it redraw it again. Uh, Zoning, Bakersfield Zoning is on here. Uh, and we've color coded the zoning so you can kind of see the residential commercial areas uh, that kind of highlight uh, as well. Uh, we've added oil wells uh, from the State Division of Oil and Gas. We can turn on the oil well layer and you can see all the different oil wells. If you click on an oil well, it'll link right to the DOG website and you can bring up all sorts of interesting information about that oil well and well logs and, and everything else. One thing that Google has that I don't think anyone else has is the traffic layer, which comes in handy if you're using a uh, laptop or a tablet. Uh, turn on the traffic and it shows you 
where the traffic jams are is good for for planning trips uh, another area that I found interesting was the dam failure <laughs> layer which shows you if it, Lake Isabella dam fails and it's full here's who's gonna get flooded and then if you click on the on an area it'll show you well these people here they're going to be flooded to 20 feet so that's kind of interesting also we've got earthquake faults uh, this is some a seismic hazard earthquake faults are here this is something that was part of the Google uh, an existing Google layer and you can uh, click on those um, crops layer is another layer that we've added it's from the Ag Commissioner's office uh, shows you what crops are growing on a particular particular property and if you click on it it'll actually tell you who's growing them and what their permit number is and, and other information. Another interesting feature on this is the GPS location marker. So if you're using a smartphone or a tablet or even some computers have GPS uh, you click on that marker it'll tell you exactly where you're where you're at and show you on the map that's pretty slick well that's about all I've got uh, hope you have fun and I hope you enjoy the site thanks